The war in Europe did not emerge out of thin air. It's the Russian fossil fuels that became the driving force behind the big war. Russia has systematically pointed its missiles and drones against Ukraine's energy infrastructure, destroying more than half of its electricity generation capacity and much of its high and low voltage transmission lines. Russian invasion of Ukraine has been fueled by the money the aggressor earned through fossil fuel exports to the European Union. For two decades, this money has been inflating the Russian budget, thus fueling their military ambitions. Keeping Europe on its gas hook, Russia is most afraid of losing control over the Black Sea, as this will allow Europe to live without Russian energy, getting gas from the huge Black Sea reserves Ukrainian, Turkish, and Romanian. While Ukrainian men and women in uniforms are advancing on the battlefield and fighting for peace and order in Europe and beyond, others need to do everything in their power to prepare the country for the day after the victory. Today, Ukraine is defending European values and principles on the battlefield. Tomorrow, Ukraine can protect European energy security. I know that rebuilding Ukraine's economy will rely to a very large extent on rebuilding its energy sector to make it greener, more efficient and safer. I also know that these efforts will require billions of dollars and that Ukraine will continue to rely on support from its Western partners. However, to attract investments and know-how, it needs to inspire confidence in the ability of its state-owned enterprises to carry forward reform and uproot corruption. To restore Ukraine's and Europe's military, energy and economic security, peace must return to the Black Sea, without constant provocation, risks and chaos. The import of Russian liquefied gas, numerous ways of avoiding sanctions, the lack of freedom of navigation in the Black Sea, the situation with the Ukrainian grain exports, make Europe vulnerable to Russian blackmail and hybrid creeping aggression. Ukraine's NATO membership is a must for Ukraine's post-war reconstruction and the establishment of favorable investment climate. Is there any sense to invest in a country which is an everyday threat of destruction or occupation by Russia? Would any private investor take such risks? Obviously no. Neither does it make any sense to rebuild houses and factories if tomorrow they are again hit by Russian missiles. The Ukrainian civil society often in cooperation with government stakeholders, are hard at work to ensure the necessary reforms for holding free, democratic, transparent and inclusive post-war elections. Top priorities are developing solutions so that citizens can vote, those displaced in and outside Ukraine due to the war and those in military service. Also, restoring and replacing damaged or lost election infrastructure and advancing necessary reforms to further strengthen Ukraine's vibrant and pluralistic democracy. With the second largest gas reserves in Europe, Ukraine, a soon-to-be EU member, is a natural and dependable gas supplier for the continent. By harnessing modern technologies, we can unlock Ukraine's gas potential providing an energy source for green transition that reinforces the new continental architecture of energy security. However, to attract investments and know-how, it needs to inspire confidence in the ability of its state-owned enterprises to carry forward reform and uproot corruption. For their part, politicians must abstain from interfering with the activities of energy SOEs while international financial institutions should continue to condition the disbursement of funds on Ukraine's SOEs abiding by corporate governance rules. The unity of the Black Sea countries and their allies, a decisive and adequate response to the complex threats posed by Russia in the region, comprehensive support for each other for a safe and prosperous future should be the key topics on the strategic agenda. As in democracies throughout the Western world, Ukraine's laws correctly recognize that a nation cannot have free, fair and safe elections during an all-out war and during the necessary state of martial law. 
This recognition led democracies like France and the United Kingdom to postpone regular elections until after victory during the world wars. Ukraine should hold its next election at a time when Ukraine can guarantee the security and democratic standards of those elections. We've already shifted the balance foiling Russian imperial ambitions with Ukrainian courage. Let's change the energy landscape with Ukrainian gas resources that await use for continental security and prosperity. Ukraine is now rightfully focused on winning the war, but fighting corruption and inspiring trust will be key to a successful peace.